everybody. Marcus Allen here with my man Che. What's up, buddy? Oh! <laughs> Alright, I need some energy. <laughs> Friday night. Alright. Give you another good video. Pumped up. Okay, we're gonna go over uh, one of my favorite submissions off of my back. Okay, which is uh, the, the straight knee bar off your back. This is a move that was taught to me back in 2002, which is starting to make me feel old because about 10 years ago. But to me, it felt like yesterday, okay? It was taught to me by Oleg Taktarov. And uh, for the noobs that don't know who he is, look him up, all right? He's a, he's a pioneer of the sport, one of the first, you know, one of the big names back in the day. And he was known for, uh, for using leg locks. And uh, this was one leg lock he showed me when he came down here to train in Miami. He was on, on the set here shooting a movie or something like that. And uh, he came down and showed me this move. So I'm gonna first uh, uh, demonstrate the move, and I'm gonna break it down. So it starts from the half, from the half guard. Now when you first see this, it looks like, like it's some kind of low probability thing. You know, like, like what? That'll never work. You know, like it looks, it looks, it looks crazy. But it's super effective. And what makes it really effective is that it's unorth unorthodox and a lot of people don't expect it to happen. They don't see it coming. So I'm going to show you how to finish the submission right now. I'm going to show you two uh, alternate plans. Okay? Now, first of all, this submission move is my B move, meaning that whenever I get in half guard, whenever I get in half guard, I'm always going to lock up here to go for a traditional you know, rolling sweep. Uh, which, but, but in the case that when I come up, if he cross faces me, boom, and stops me from being able to do it, this is when I bail to this move. Now, if you like this move a lot, you can just go straight into it. So here's, we're going to start from this situation, where I get cross faced. The hand that's under the leg, I don't know if the cameraman can see over here, but the, the hand that's under the leg here is going to shoot up through his crotch, right down the center of the crack of his butt, like this. Boom, with the blade going right down the middle. This hand's going to lock palm to palm, what we call gable grip which is like if you're clapping and you lock over the thumb underneath like that, okay? So from here, I go down the crack of his butt and I lock. Now, I'm, I've already opened my guard, okay, at this point. Now, I'm gonna pull him up over me. I'm gonna go flat my back. I'm gonna pull him up over me, boom. And this is the part that takes practice, getting the knee placement right. You want the knee right over your groin. You're gonna pull down on his butt cheek and you're gonna cross your legs over his ankle and you're gonna push your hips up as you push down your feet and pull down here like so. Okay, it's very sharp pain, you feel it right away. Now the common mistake people make from here is that they figure four here. When you figure four, your foot's hitting the ground already, it can't really push much more. You wanna cross one, two right there. Lock here, some guys lock low on the thigh here, it doesn't get the same effect. You wanna lock right over the butt cheek, over the crack of the butt so you get total control of the leg and then pull push and push your hips up. So one more time. I'm here, boom, he cross faces. This is gonna go through the crack of his butt. As I do that, I dip my shoulder in and I open up my guards, I get nice and deep here. Lock. Now I'm gonna pull him up over me so I get that knee right on my groin. It takes, that's the hardest part of the move, gain the, the sense of distance from here. But when you rip this a bunch of times, you get it. Now your ankle comes over his ankle, the other ankle crosses over the top, Pull, push, and push your hips up to finish the tap. Now once you get this down really well, okay, there'll be times where you're cranky on this, and when they're freaking out from here, what they're gonna do is they're gonna roll to their butt. So some cranking here, they're gonna roll over, okay? Just keep your calm. From here, you can, you can keep what you have, but what I do is I open it up, and I sprawl this way, and my leg goes perfect, perfectly perpendicular to his leg. Some people keep a figure for it, but you really don't have to. You can open up from here. And all I'm doing from here is I'm keeping the arm under the leg and just sprawling on his knee, okay? All I'm doing is from here, just bringing you know, my, my pelvis to the, to the mat, just like that, okay? There's other more extreme metaphors, but you get the point, all right? So, one more time. Now, if you like the move, you don't have to do it off a cross face. If you like the move, you just want to go straight into it. I basically shoot right up the, 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 the crotch this way, lock. Pull, cross, cross, knees right on my groin, pull, push, push the hips up. He turns over to, to bail out. I've already opened up. You can have a figure four like that, or you can just sprout this way. Again, my hips are right over his knee. That's what, the, what will make this work. And I'm keeping this under the leg as well, okay? Because I'm going to sprawl here to break the leg, 
And if I can't break it, or if I do break it and I just want to keep going, from here I would pass off to the side and get side control. Now, there are instances where maybe you lock this up, you don't have it right, like you have your, your, your groin's not in the right spot to break his knee, or he's got really strong legs and you're cranking and you're not finishing it. And then you got the, the real plan B, which is to sweep from here. I'm very high percentage finished with this move, uh, with the submission hold. But with the sweep, I'm at 100%. I've never locked up this move, put a significant uh, threat with it, and not end up on top, at least not in my recollection. I don't remember in training ever failing this move. It's one of my highest percentage sweeps. So I'm going to demonstrate it first, and I'll break it down. From here, it's not working for me. Boom, boom, boom. And I come out on top. So let me explain what happens. So I'm here. And I'm cranking, and it's not working. I'm going to do from here. Both my feet are going to open. I'm going to plant them on the mat. This lock here, I'm going to have to stay locked, but I'm going to open up the noose. And now I'm going to hip heist out and corkscrew, and come right between his legs out the back door like so. Okay, and I'm going to come out the back. The movement's like this. What I mean by hip heist out is that I'm going to push my hips up, get up to my shoulders, then to my head, and keeping my grip here. I'm gonna turn this way, okay? In other words, I'm not here and just like rolling over like that. It's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. So, when I'm hitting the sweep, okay? This has to be loose when I go for it. If I'm tight here and I try to roll, it's gonna be like, uh, and I'm like stuck, okay? You can't be like trying to roll them off you. Okay, when I put my feet down, this gets loose for a second and I'm coming out the back door like an alligator, okay? Just hip icing through, right here. If he's a jiu jitsu guy, he'll just like go to his back right away, okay? But if he's a wrestler, you're gonna end up coming out the back door this way, because his base is not to go to his back. Now, okay? When I come to here, some people ask, why can't I go out the other way? Because if I come to the outside, it allows him to use his overhook, his wizard. If I come to this side, he can get the wizard here to keep me pinned down. Okay? But when I come out, when I come out between the legs, his wizard is completely out of the equation. Okay? And from here you can use all kinds of finishes like the far knee, far ankle to bring him down. Okay? Any kind of wrestling finishes from the head and side single, head outside single, I mean, you know, when you're out here. All your, actually the head and side single finish. You end up out here like this, so you have all your, your alternative finishes you know, from, from that position. So, like I said, there's a move you're hitting from the bottom half. The knee bar is legit. You can't finish. If he rolls over, sprawl or across the knee, keeping your, your leg perpendicular to his leg. What I mean by that, so a lot of guys do this move. The guy rolls, and when they get, when he rolls, oh, when the guy rolls, they get like this, where their leg is like, it's like this kind of angle, okay? It lowers your percentage of finishing a big time. You want to keep it totally perpendicular when you drop the, you see how it's already about to tap? When you drop the hips on it like that, it's very sharp. In training, you want to be controlled with it, but in a match, you want to drop the hips explosively so it gives him less chance to turn his knee out of the way. And then the sweep is, is, is money. I think it always works. Now guys, if uh, I love feedback, so if you hit this move in a tournament, or you hit it in training, or you hit this in an MMA fight or whatever, uh, send, me a, send me a message on Facebook or go to my Facebook fan page, which is uh, www.facebook.com slash Marcos or I have a little shortcut you can go, just type www.marcosavalonfans.com and just post on the wall and let me know, man. I really appreciate the feedback. Also, if you're seeing this on, on, a, on a forum, an internet forum, bump the thread back up with a TTT, uh, go to YouTube, like the, the video, post a comment on there, because all these things help promote um, my services, my gym, and it helps me out. So if you like the video, I appreciate the help. And if you're from the South Florida area, come check us out. We have uh, two gyms. We have one in Miami and one in Davie. And uh, right now we're at, we're at the Miami gym. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's why it's Friday night. Uh, oh, it's about to be 10 o'clock at night, and we're still doing this right, okay? Uh, we have classes going from six in the morning, until 1.45 in the morning, and the times in between is just open mat. So we got, uh, uh, well we have four full-size training rooms now, we just, we just upgraded another 4,000 square feet upstairs. 
And we have, uh, so we have four full-size training rooms. We have full-size cage, boxing ring, a full-size weight room. We got locker room, showers, everything, private lesson room, tractor tires outside. We have all kinds of state-of-the-art facility. And uh, you have 30 days for you to try this out. There's nothing to sign or buy. You walk in, you don't have to sign anything, just try out 30 days, and at the last day you don't like it, you just walk away. On top of that, there's nothing to buy. You get uh, a free uniform, and you get a free private lesson with one of our world-class instructors. And on top of all that, okay, you have a 60-day money-back guarantee. Meaning if you come to all your classes after 60 days, if you don't like it, you can just walk away. You give your money back. Okay? So can't get any more fair, can't get any better than that. We just want you to get in here because we know once you come in here, you're going to love it. Okay? We take a lot of pride in giving world-class service. Also check us out on our website at www.bestfreetrial.com and give us a call. We're open right now at one 888 FFA Gyms. That spells out 1 888 332 4967. You can call right now, make an appointment to start your 30 day free trial, or if you feel more comfortable, you can send an email to info at FFAGyms.com. Uh, you can send an email with your name and number, and we'll give you a call, a call back. All right, everybody, thank you very much. Hey, you want to add anything? Come see us. <laughs> Peace.